Six, the church. Chapter One. The bus driver kept looking at Amber. He was staring at her using his rear view mirror. She noticed that he had been doing it for a while. It was really starting to bother her. Amber looked around at the empty seats on the bus. It was a large city bus. She was the last passenger on it. The city was asleep. It was almost two o'clock in the morning. He keeps looking at me, Amber thought. I guess he thinks I'm very pretty. But he looks like a hairy caveman. She tried to ignore him. She gazed out of her window into the darkness. They passed by dark buildings. Every building had its lights off. And there were almost no other cars on the road. Suddenly, she realized, I don't know which road we are on. This is not the street we should be on. Alarmed, Amber turned her head and saw the bus driver. He was driving and smiling at nothing. What is this guy doing? She got out of her seat, holding her small purse. The bus ride had been very smooth, but when she started walking toward the front, one of the bus's wheels hit a hole in the road. Amber fell forward. She reached out her arm. She grabbed a seat back and caught herself from falling. The bus driver laughed. He drove into that pothole on purpose. Sit down, little lady, the driver said. He had to take deep breaths after each sentence. He had some breathing problem. We're on a rocky road now. Excuse me, but which road are we on? she asked. Are you lost? What do you mean? I never get lost. He took a deep breath and laughed with his mouth open wide. He was missing several teeth. He scratched at his beard and coughed. I told you to sit down. It isn't safe to stand up while the bus is moving. We don't want you to hurt your pretty head. It might mess up your hairdo. Amber did not think the situation was funny. She had heard of things like this happening. But she was not scared, not yet. She held her purse tighter and walked closer to the driver. Tell me where are you going? I do not recognize this road. This isn't the right way. 
It's right for me, the driver said mysteriously. Instead of looking at her in the mirror, he turned his head to stare at her. There were cookie crumbs in his beard. His eyes were red and bloodshot. Even from her distance away from him, Amber could smell him. Did this guy take a shower this year? He really stinks. Without warning, the bus driver reached out at her. Amber stepped backward, and he laughed again. I'm just messing with you, he said, breathing heavily. Stop worrying, I am a professional. I know what I am doing. Amber did not like this. She sat down and waited, wondering if she should make a phone call. He is acting weird, she thought, but maybe he really is lost. Sometimes, new drivers forget the roads. Maybe, he does not want to admit he is lost. He does not know where we are, but he feels embarrassed. The driver began to slow down. Amber peeked out of the window. She did not see any street lights or stop signs. Why is he slowing down? Will he turn the bus around? Almost there, he said. He took a drink from a plastic bottle. Amber did not think it was water inside the bottle. The bus pulled into a large, unused parking lot. The lot was empty, there were no other cars in it. There was grass growing from cracks in the lot. There were broken glass bottles and pieces of litter everywhere. A stray dog was walking around. The parking lot was dark, there were no street lights. The driver stopped and removed his seat belt. Last stop, he said. He took another drink and wiped his lips on his shirt sleeve. Time for all pretty girls to get off my bus. Amber stood up. He opened the bus door and pointed to it. She shook her head. This isn't my stop. What do you think you are doing? You will find out soon, he said. Get off the bus. She took out her phone, but there was no time. He moved toward her fast. Amber pressed the call button but it dialed the last person she'd called her sister. Hi, sis, said Amber's sister, Aisha. Do you know how late it is? The driver knocked the phone out of Amber's hand. Help! I'm on a bus and the driver is crazy. 
the bus driver stomped on the phone with his boot. Amber could not get past him. He was holding up both arms. She could not exit the bus now. I should have got out when I had the chance, she decided. But every bus has an emergency exit. She turned and ran to the back of the bus. The driver followed her. Amber made it to the emergency back door and turned the door handle. She kicked back at the driver and he stopped for a second. He was out of breath. Don't run away from me, he said. I'm not a fast runner. Opening the door, Amber jumped down. Her ankle twisted and she fell on her knees. The driver took a slow step down. It was hard for him to move around. He was in very bad physical condition, but he looked at her and smiled. He was in no hurry now. Annex to Chapter 1 Summary Amber is riding the city bus. It is late at night and she is the only passenger. The driver keeps looking at her. She does not recognize the road he is on. Amber asks what he is doing and he begins to scare her. He stops the bus in an abandoned car park and she escapes from the back door. Multiple choice questions. Select one answer for each question one. Amber thinks the driver is weird because he a keeps looking at her b keeps laughing c smells bad d all of the above too. Amber stands up on the bus but then almost falls. Why? A. She tripped on a bottle B. She was looking out a window C. The bus hits a hole in the road D. The driver is drinking and driving three. Why does the driver breathe heavily? A. Because he is out of shape B. Because it is late at night C. Because he likes Amber's hair D. Because he is sick for. Who does Amber call? A. Her brother. B. Her friend C. The police D. Her sister five. What happens to Amber when she gets off the bus? A. The driver falls on her B. She hurts her ankle C. She runs to the police D. She makes a phone call. Answers to Chapter 1 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.